What's going on guys, this is MacDacto here, second to an custom and uh, yeah Today we're working something that I've been trying for a little while Had the idea in my mind and yeah Put you guys up to it Fabricating these fender cutouts Out of spare fenders Already done cut one Measure how much of the cut You know what I mean? something like this one this is fabricated it's gonna get trim here and it's gonna go right here as you already know I built this uh white front end so I've been trying to for a while you know they just fabricate this you know what I mean you um, know yeah this is pretty much how we do it out of spare fenders you know what I mean you trim it take your measurements which I'll show you guys how I do with the second fender you know what I mean this is ready that for when I cut my metal pieces I could tag them and um, start you know welding them up better do a little fiberglass and then yeah these are gonna be completely removable we got this three screw patterns right here you know what I mean so I could take them off and put them back at any time like I want at the bottom, this is the top part. They're gonna go like this, and of course, you already see the angle that goes in. You know what I mean? It works as a diffuser, so yeah. Besides extra fender, we're gonna need the fiberglass repair kit. I had this one, I just bought another box yesterday, and um, yeah, and I need some bundle glass. So we're gonna see how things go. I'll walk you guys through the process a little bit, how I do the second one, how I get cut and measure, and uh, yeah. We're gonna go from the white end, regular look, to the diffuse look on the cutout fender. So all this part gets trimmed out, and the new piece goes in, so yeah. Stay tuned, man. Yeah, right now we're just getting some extra metal I got on my shit. This is where I keep my extras and shit, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Gotta have the handy dandy chat, you know what I mean? Do a lot of my OEM parts that I got extra to get safe. Alright. Anything you could think of, I got from manifolds to alternators, starters, heated cores, water cooling reservoir bottles, intake box, headlights, extra doors, door panels, shit, a little bit of everything. So now I'm gonna look at my, uh, my metal department, I cut it. And I'm um, yeah. Brand new metal. So this is the metal that I'm gonna be using for the parts that I got in that I will be showing ya. So yeah. we'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more. These are the cutouts, the plates, and um, just to give you an idea what I'm talking about so as you see this is the cut that I had to do in order to achieve that look you know what I mean everything of course is gonna be filled in like this is gonna be filled in with metal welded this play she goes here is gonna be filled in and welded this other one is gonna be welded as well yeah Go something like this. Once this is tagged, I'm gonna be hold up in place, you know what I mean? That's where the fiberglass cloth comes in for with all little gaps in the band of filler. Over here I'm gonna cut some cheap metal and fill it in. That's the other plate of the cutout. 
Get that out of the paper. Uh, traced it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Should look something like that when I finish. So, I want to tell you pretty much a little bit how the cut gets done. And, uh, yeah. We'll see when we start getting welded. Stay tuned.
been several days working on this. This does take a little bit of time. You know, uh, obviously I still got a little more to go. Clean as best I could. Um, that's gonna get filled in with the fiberglass cloth. But um, yeah, the fender cut out, they pretty much ready. They're ready done measure. So what they're gonna look and be like in my car. The fenders already trimmed them to the measurement. Sorry about that noise. I had to put them in the car and measure them. So that's what they already done cut. And um, yeah, once they install on the car, they're gonna go like this. And that's the diffuser look on the uh, fender coat out. This part right here is gonna be three holes, one, two, three, which they are um, gonna be Allen key mounted. And that's pretty much how it attacks to the uh, to the body, you know what I mean? Got the same shape as the fender. On a regular fender, it would have felt like a germ. You know what I mean? But being that this is a wider front end, it was a little bit more of a challenge. But yeah, I mean, we see how the look that I was trying to achieve. You know what I mean? It's definitely getting there. I got probably a couple more days into it. Somebody work. Like I said, this gotta get filled in here, the gaps. I gotta bundle glass the corners, sand down, prime. Get to paint it, and yeah, my fender cut out, they ready to install. Can't wait to see the new look on it. Gonna be sick. So, uh, yeah. This is pretty much gonna be the video on the fender cutouts. Hope it's to your liking. Just giving you ideas of how can you do this at home, you know what I mean? I still gotta weld this one. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that should be it for it. But anyway, till the next time, thank you for watching. I want you to stay tuned. Please subscribe, like, comment, and peace. Yeah. Looking at the final product, fellas. Fenders are cut, ready painted, and the fender cut out, nice and finished. Not bad for custom job. Once again, something you could do at home. A little imagination. If you could dream it, you could think it, you could build it. Yeah, gonna be a wrap. So make sure to stay tuned. So cry, like, comment. Till the next time. Peace. Yeah, it's already installed. Paint it. Check it out. Pretty sick. Got the quarter panels coming up in about a week or two. So we could start doing the little back end of body work. And now we could start painting everything on it. So make sure to stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment. Peace.